Hey everybody, welcome to more Fishing Planet. I think today we're going to go for more Emer Emerald Lake. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to buy a new license and I am going to do, we're going to do a three day trip, I think. We're gonna, we want an advanced license because I want to be able to keep my pike catches and I think we only have to buy the one advanced license maybe I'm not really sure how that works but alright we bought the advanced license and these are some of the new fish I've caught trophy bass for 4.747 and I've gotten a few new lures too um, here we go. We're just gonna go for some active lures like some rubber shads and spoons and some bass jigs and stuff like that. I'm not gonna go for bait because I don't really like it very much. Like the with the bait rods, I don't. I got. I have my my heavy casting rod here, and I also have a lighter spinning rod set up that I'm gonna use for my eighth ounce. Um, I got a spinner on it right now, and then I also have some eighth ounce uh, bass jigs. Actually, I'm gonna. I also have some. I have some other jig heads that I'd like to take. And because I've upgraded my tackle box too, so I can hold 27, I might as well just bring as much as I can. I'll bring the quarter ounce jig head. And the one sixth ounce because it has a larger hook on it. I'll bring a red grub, why not? I kind of need to get rid of some stuff. So, I've got. Do I have spare line? I want to have enough spare line here. 570. Can I fit any more? Answer is yes. So I have enough of that braid. I have enough of the the braided line goes on the casting rod, and the casting rod doesn't hold that much of it really. So yeah. So I'll use a spinning setup for smaller stuff, and I can cast it a lot farther. Uh, what is the capacity of that drag? Is three pounds? It's really not a very good drag on it but I'll use it for perch and things like that so now we can we're able to keep the pikes the walleye the walleye is a really rare catch there so I hear the crappie and panfish so we've got we got a three day license so we want to go for three days so that's going to be three hundred fifty dollars on top of the hundred and fifty we already paid I believe so hopefully we get into some fish um, I just want to make I want to make sure that there's nothing that I'm missing nothing I need I already got the good stringer I think I, I would uh, really I would love to have something like that, but it's only a capacity of 4.5 pounds. Uh, I don't like that. That would be nice. There. The one I have right now is this one here, and it's got a 7 pound fish max fish weight, so I don't think I'm going to be getting anything over 4 or 5 pounds, but still, if I do get a 5 pounder, I want to be able to keep it. That would be nice. Nine pounds, and uh, but it's it's a lot of it's a lot of gold. It's a lot of gold to splurge on right now. I could get some heavier mono, but I would like an upgrade reel too. But I mean, upgrade the reel, you got to upgrade the rod, really. That would also be a nice little thing. This is what I have right now. This holds slightly more line. 
so probably cast a little bit further too. Um, we also got a triple bag. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get a second casting rod set up. I don't know. All right, whatever. We're just gonna go. I'm probably gonna regret that, but. All right, so three days. We've got three days at Emerald Lake. Let's just go. All right, let's go to Midland Charm off the bat. We've got both places. The conditions are the same. I think it's. I think both places are the same condition all the time. It's just general area. This is what the fish pattern is like. It's sunny. So around 11 is really the best time. So we'll get there. We'll wait for six hours. All right. Um, six hours, right? Yeah. This will get us to 11. Um, there we go. I wanted to just get rid of the chat. Uh, what do we have on here? Ah, yellow spoon. We're going to try the yellow spoon. You know, I've never been here when it's sunny. This is actually only the second time that I've been here. So, there we go. Decrease the drag a bit. Alright, so, just see what we got. I really like these quarter ounce spoons because they stay in the middle of the water column on speed two, which is kind of nice. I don't have to worry about like increasing and decreasing the speed of the lure at all. Really, we should be using the silver and red. Hmm. I thought something was taking that. Guess not. I think the silver and red is for is good for daylight, but really, I mean most stuff will go after a yellow lure. Something that's flashy, you know. Of course it depends on the time of year too. So Ugh. Oh, I know something was on that. Here we go. Oh, the just, man, I drug him right in a grass pickerel. Eh, no, we don't. We don't want to keep that. We only want to keep good trophy fish here. I remember there's a lot of redfin pickerel and grass pickerel in this area. I really hope we have big enough lures to actually land a decent pike and strong enough gear. You can actually, uh, not only your line can break, but your rod and your reel can break. Which would be a big downer since we only have like a light spinning reel after this. There we go. Yeah. Another red fin. I'm gonna up my lure size just a bit. I'm gonna go a half ounce silver. Half ounce silver seems to be good. And we had good luck with pike over towards the dock, so I'm gonna try that. Thing with this lure is you have to increase and decrease the speed a lot to keep it up off the bottom, depending on how deep the water is. The water isn't very deep over by this dock, so... Hopefully I don't get caught. I really should have bought more of these. I only have five, but... I have yet to get this casting rod with the braided line. I have yet to get snagged where I couldn't get out, so... Oh, that was a good cast. It's almost at the limit right there 
I think this is a little more manageable here. It's a little bit deeper. Oh. Oh. I was about to say, do I have something there? Hmm. Try over back over here. Kind of surprised I'm not even catching any perch or anything like that. Gonna have three days. Three whole days. There we go, there's something pretty substantial. Come on, get in here. A trophy grass pickerel. Alright, I'm gonna keep that. It's only 1.3 pounds and it's got probably might be worth a lot. Let's let's actually let's take a look. Um it's only worth nine dollars, really? Uh that's kind of a waste. Eh. Oh well. Oh well. I think maybe we'll switch to uh the shad the three inch shad and the jig head. I actually brought a it's a red and yellow sh three inch shad and you buy that with actual gold. I wanted to try it. it seemed like a good a good color and size. It actually it's what got me that trophy bass. Nope, not in that time. All right, I'm gonna switch the shad with the it's a one third ounce jig head, three inch shad. There we go. Try this for a bit. This is another one that wants to go right to the right to the bottom. So I'll just increase the speed whenever it hits the water and then hopefully I can uh, keep it sort of centered I'm not sure if if speed 3 would be good for larger fish cuz theory they can go faster right um, let's try just before the dock. There. That actually might hit the dock, I'm not sure. Nope. Just barely. Hopefully it don't get stuck in the weeds. Yeah. Wouldn't stay off the bottom. Be really nice if they added some top water lures that would be you could cast right into those lily pads and sort of skim the surface. Yeah. really hard to keep it up off the bottom. Let's try just casting straight out. See what we get. Even straight out it wants to go right to the bottom. There you go, that's a little bit better. Man, we're 
We're just not getting anything on this though. Thought I had some something took that. Try a little bit off that. We're still kind of like before the peak hours. I think it was about twelve o'clock, so a little bit before. Come on. Ugh. Man, just nothing. Huh. That shad really isn't doing it. Red spoon? I haven't really tried the red spoon much. Or the green spoon, so. Let's just try that. It's a quarter ounce, so. I think it has a longer profile too. So in theory it should catch bigger fish because it appears to be bigger than the other spoons maybe. I don't know. Don't have a good feeling about this one really. I'm not really sure if I think that's going to be... Yeah, that's too long. I'm not really sure if the red is good for cloudy days or if it's okay for sunny days. I don't know. There we go. Fish on! It's not very big, I don't think. Oh, a young northern pike. We're gonna I'm gonna keep this one. And we'll see how much he's worth. Is he worth anything? No, he's not. Ugh. Alright. So he's not worth anything, so we're just not gonna keep any more of those. Probably need some big tackle to actually get the good big pikes, which is going to be a little bit disappointing. Yeah, I guess let's try the other side of the dock. See what this does. Hmm. really is quite nice here actually even though we're not catching anything um, let's try the let's try the lighter rod maybe if we get some more distance get some more distance and try the the spinner I've actually never tried this spinner before so can actually run this one quite a bit slower too. Hmm. You know, I kind of like the uh I might actually replace the casting rod with a spinning rod since um I thought for sure I had something there. Oh, 
There we go. Got something. It's fighting this little spinning setup a bit. Yeah, red fin. Nope. Sorry, don't want to keep that. Yeah, I like the spinning rods because you can cast them further and you can retrieve them slower, it seems. I mean, this is only an 8th ounce spinner, but... So I guess that's probably why. It doesn't fall as fast. You should be able to. I think something was interested in that, but I didn't notice until I let go. Um, you should be able to get big fish on small lures. Like in in. Oh, there we go. Wow, I didn't even have to really set that. Oh, this thing. This seems like it might be a trophy yellow perch. Let's keep that and see what that's worth. Is it worth anything? Um, yes it is. Alright, that's cool. Got ourselves, oh, well, it's, I guess it's worth slightly more. 13, eh, still, it's not, it's not going to pay for our, our bill, really. Try one more cast with this. Might as well. I really don't know what I'm going to try next. I mean, thought I had something there. I mean, really, the biggest the, the biggest lure I have is the half ounce spoon and the three inch shad. And three inch shad doesn't seem to do anything, really. Maybe I'll try a smaller shad on this rod and see what it does. I don't even know if the bass jigs will do anything here. Since I don't think there are any bass. I mean, really anything will go for a bass jig. But. I don't know what the rules of the, of the game are, how the AI responds. Just gonna reel this guy in. Try uh, try a one six ounce because it has a bigger hook. Uh, too light, really. Quarter ounce too light too. Really? Huh. I think a white a white. Two inch shad will be good. Man, look at that cast. No, oh, even something that's twice as heavy, it doesn't doesn't fall as fast, it seems like. Now it's down the bottom. takes a while for it to get up there. Yeah, I guess it still falls. Hmm. I think the white's good for sunny days, I think. I don't know. Alright. Oh! We can actually get over in the trees here. It's sort of in line with that weed bed right there.
Hmm. Definitely. Oh, there we go. I don't know. Damn it. Kidding me. There we go, there's something. Small perch, yeah. Release. All right, we're gonna go back to Silver Spoon land. Actually, let's, uh, um, yes, yeah, Silver Spoon. I was gonna say let's try the green, but I really wanna get something larger. There we go. Get a little bit up there so it falls where I want. That's nothing, huh? Hmm. Alright. Let's try over here. Just get nothing. Check the map. Let's try one o'clock. Maybe one o'clock will be better. Just wait a little while. There we go. Same spot. There we go. Something. Oh, something's actually activating the drag. Trophy red fin. Alright, let's keep it. Let's see. What's it worth? Anything? Trophy red fin. No. Ugh. Just gonna fill up our stringer with nothing but junk. Junk fish. It seems. And really, these are just about the biggest lures that I can get at my current level, which is 10. Level 11, you can get some larger, some 3 inch shads in different colors. I think you can get. 
get a few larger spoons too, but really you can't get the the actual fish lures you can't get for a while. It's like level 30, 30 something. Oh, here we go. Something that's small though. Trophy grass pickerel. We might as well keep it. If that's all we're gonna get. At least the fish are hooking up decent. I've been having a lot of trouble bass fishing where I can't get the bass to hook up. Oh, here we go. There's something. Oh, trophy yellow perch. Keep it, I guess. Alright, I'm going to try just quickly try the the green spoon. Just try the green spoon. See what that does. There we go, get it off the bottom. I really want to know if green or red is good for sunny conditions. Oh, there we go. Fish on. Not very big. Ugh. Man, we're just getting no love from Emerald Lake right now.